Hello and welcome to this episode of TAPCO's Traffic Safety Video Series. In this video we will show you how quick and easy it is to install a blinker sign or traffic sign pull assembly using TAPCO's crashworthy and reusable V-Lock anchoring systems. Prior to driving any V-Lock you must first notify Diggers Hotline or your local utility marking service to ensure your safety. The service will mark your worksite so that you do not contact utility lines. V-Locks can be driven with a sledgehammer, but here we'll demonstrate using a power driver. Align the V-Lock socket so the rounded nose of the fin points away from oncoming traffic. Using the proper safety gear, seat the drive shank and drive cap onto the 90 degree leg angle. Plumb and drive the V-Lock one third of the way. Check for plumb in both directions, correct if necessary, and drive again until the fin contacts the ground. Check again for plumb and drive the rest of the way in. If you're installing a cleanout bar model, angle the V-lock a few degrees toward it when driving and it will push the V-lock back to plumb when fully driven. When driven, clean out the earth inside the socket to a depth of at least six inches using a trowel or other tool. Set the adapter plate over the driven V-lock socket so that the stub abuts the 90 degree leg angle. Align the rectangular opening directly over the V-shaped fin so the wedge can be inserted and driven. Place the wedge into the socket with the extractor hole nearest the top. Drive the wedge in with a hammer until it is flush. Place the narrow end of the wedge tensioner into the driven wedge with the angled edge away from the stub. Hammer it in until flush with the wedge. Remove the nuts and washers from the adapter. Remove the door from the signal base and place the base onto the bolt stubs, aligning the opening away from the wedge. Place the washers and nuts onto the bolts and tighten them securely. Reattach the door. Place the pull cap onto the unthreaded pull top and then tighten the bolts. Place the pole onto the base, align the threads, and twist clockwise until snug. Place a chain tool or strap wrench onto the pole and tighten it fully. V-Lock is a patented post anchor that uses a unique wedge that, when driven in with a hammer, locks the pole securely into the socket. If the assembly is struck by a vehicle and knocked down, you simply insert a replacement pole into the existing V-Lock and drive in a new wedge to secure it. Reinstallation takes just minutes saving you time and money and keeps your work crew safer. If you're installing a blinker sign or higher elevation signs such as street name signs, this step can precede the installation of the pole into the signal base. Place the Z brackets onto the pole, align, and then snug the nuts so the brackets can be adjusted if necessary. Place the sign onto the bracket bolts, add washers and nuts, and then tighten the nuts. Adjust the direction of the sign so that it is facing oncoming traffic and tighten the Z bracket nuts. Thank you for viewing this episode of TAPCO's Traffic Safety Video Series. Feel free to contact TAPCO toll free at 800-236-0112 or email us at info at tapconet.com. If you have any comments or suggestions for this or other TAPCO training videos, please email me at marketing at tapconet.com.